We are the LGBT movement, and we shall, no matter what, get our way. If you choose to resist our movement, we will come after you. We will threaten your life, and it will be perfectly acceptable behavior to do so. We will threaten your children, and there will be no backlash towards us, no matter how vile. We may even physically hurt you if you disagree with the LGBT. You cannot be objective. You cannot be neutral. You must participate against your will. If you do not do what we want, we will come after your business. We will sue you and we will win. We will boycott and protest and picket, attack, harass, debase, demonize, dehumanize, and destroy those who disagree with us. We will take away your business and we will take away your finances. If you do so much as to donate money to causes that conflict with ours, we will destroy your career and make sure you're unemployable in the future because we will protest whoever hires you. It will not matter how honorable your profession or career has been. You will comply with our demands or we will destroy your livelihood. If you provide any financial support to legislation that we do not agree with, we will protest your business and demand that you also make equal contributions to our cause. We will not leave you alone until you do. It does not matter to us if you're religious. Your religion is bigotry and you should repent. If you choose not to aid and abet our ways and actively participate in activity considered sinful to your religion, you will be attacked. You will be sued. We will not stop until we destroy your business. We will vilify you and use the most heinous verbiage to describe your thought crimes to make sure that everyone knows how evil you Christians are. We will re-educate you so that you learn. We are right. You are wrong. Opinions and religion enable bigotry, and so all freedom of thought and religion must be eradicated to ensure nobody disagrees with the LGBT. We will control your speech. We will choose the words you're allowed to use. If you wish to exercise your First Amendment rights to discuss your values and beliefs, we will disrupt you, scream at you, harass you, and prevent you from your freedom, and it will be okay because LGBT rights supersede everyone else's rights. Even celebrities are not immune. They answer to us as well. If they speak words we do not like, they will have to pay. They will lose endorsements. They will lose their jobs. If they use quotes from people that we do not approve of, they will be bombarded with our anger and forced to recant admiring someone that we do not like. No business is too big, even if you do not actually discriminate against the LGBT community, but support a stance against ours, we will come after you. Any opinions that are in conflict with our opinions, we will work to have your business blacklisted. We will have politicians vow to stop your business from growing in jurisdictions under our control, because politicians answer to us. If politicians refuse to answer to us, we will have them removed. If you try to speak against us, we will use our minions in the media to make sure your voice is not heard. We will ban rhetoric against us. There will be no freedom of speech if that freedom is being used in any way that we do not like. We will not allow any material to exist that is advocating any resistance to our demands. We will have courtrooms overrule the Constitution and make sure that you learn that our agenda supersedes any rights that you used to have. Federal agencies will work on our behalf, and if they have to break the law to do so, then so be it. The ends justify the means. Even the highest courtrooms will warn you that your rights will be no more, and it will fall on deaf ears because no one dares to speak against us. All of our actions are justified. It does not matter how vile we get, the ends justify the means. We are allowed to be totalitarian, and it does not matter if everyone knows it. There is no point in criticizing us because if you do, any point you make will simply be labeled as homophobia and anti-gay hate mongering. We won't stop until you comply. We will destroy everything to your name, or you'll be thrown in jail. We will use the government to push our agenda against you and your children. We will use the educational system to do our bidding, to indoctrinate your children with our ideology. We will teach them that homosexuality is good and perfectly normal and natural in every way, and all those who oppose it are evil. Even though, up until modern Western progressivism, homosexuality was considered wrong and immoral by every human civilization that has ever existed, we will teach them that all the other ideologies are wrong. We are right, and your children will be taught that all of history is evil since gays were wrongly persecuted, and they now need to make amends and celebrate homosexuality homosexuality, even if they don't quite understand it because they're just children. You will not be allowed to remove them from our indoctrination. If you object our indoctrination, we'll even have you arrested, because the government, education, and the media and corporations all work for us. We will force your children to express their support for us, or they will not be allowed to attain their education. If schools don't choose to push our rhetoric and vow their support, we will threaten the funding of their education. We will incentivize students to adopt our rhetoric, because they may improve their grades if they do so. They will be forced to read our literature to learn that homosexuality is not
not immoral, but Christianity is immoral for objecting to it. We will use money from both students and government to promote our agenda because educators have learned that saying no to us will create protests and everyone will know you're a homophobe. So you must comply or you risk to be publicly destroyed. You will give us what we want. You will not be able to keep your children away from us because we will be everywhere. We will brand the foods they eat with our colors. We will change the way they play games until we've surrounded them so much that they give in and accept our ideology over theirs or their parents. There is no escape. Government buildings will fly our colors proudly in recognition that bullying, totalitarian fascism still works if done right. Cities and counties will designate us days, weeks, and months solely to celebrate us. Even the White House will not reign red, white, and blue, but rainbow pride. You cannot keep your children away because we control the media as well. We will give them television shows so all know Christianity is horrible. We will make ridiculing Christianity even fashionable. We will not allow any media that portrays members of the LGBT movement negatively, because if you do, we will protest, we will boycott, and we will make a scene and let everyone know you're a bigot, because everyone knows that all LGBT are the friendliest, kindest, most caring, witty people on earth, and they shall always be portrayed that way on our screens, and if you don't portray them that way, you will be attacked. We will be celebrated in every form of media for all the good that we do, for we have informed Americans that they need to surrender their civil rights to us. Even our control over the media will be celebrated. We will give members of the LGBT community awards to recognize all the great they do for society. If we receive these awards over others that may be more deserving, over people that are actually out there helping people in need, you're wrong. Nothing is more important than our cause. So if you try to come and argue otherwise that supplying 600 million impoverished Africans with solar power is more noble than mental illness, we will have the media attack you and let you know how dumb you are for not agreeing with us. We need these awards because we've been persecuted everywhere we go. We will show you that discrimination and hate towards LGBTs is not a thing of the past, but in the present. If we cannot find hateful facts, we will simply make them up, but that's okay, because it's more important that people know that we are the victims than it is to actually tell the truth. And that may not seem like it's right to make up stories of oppression, but we promise it is. They are the liars for telling you we're wrong, because as you know already, we are always right. Even science cannot escape us, for if science is published that does not shed us in a good light, we will force them to recant their research. If we have to falsify research, evidence, and polls, then it's worth it, because the ends justify the means. We will teach people that gender and sexuality are whatever they feel they are, and that it has nothing to do with science or biology. We will make it known that biology is misogynistic and that science needs a makeover. Even school children should be allowed to choose their gender before puberty, because no matter what gender they choose, they are correct, because gender is meaningless along with science. It does not matter what any scientist or doctor say, no matter how prestigious they rank. They are all wrong. We get to select what science or biology is or isn't, and you should shut up and listen. If criminals decide to change their gender, then they shall receive the operation, even if taxpayers have to foot the bill. Even though our lifestyle has dramatic health effects detrimental to us all, we will normalize it to make sure that everyone knows that we should continue promoting and applauding these actions and use more money to help the perpetrators because we in the LGBT community deserve help for the history of oppression we have unjustly faced. So you may not speak of any negative health consequences. Even though it is a medical fact that the practice of homosexuality tends to promote the spread of disease, if we don't like or accept that fact, you can't say anything about it, and it's just too bad. It does not matter what needs to be sacrificed to get in our way. If our arguments for mainstream acceptance and tolerance for our homosexuality can also be made for polygamy, then so be it. If the same line of logic that we use accepts pedophilia, then so be it. If that same line of logic is used to normalize incest, then so be it. For nothing is off limits. There is no sexual act that is wrong or immoral. Everyone is allowed to be themselves and follow their sexual urges no matter where they lead. We will corrupt and morally confuse entire generations and coerce them to believe our delusion is truth, and that common sense and religion are discriminatory and hate. Since we've ruled that genders are not science and only a matter of feelings, we will work to rid the world of any gender separation. Even if it may put your wives, sisters, and daughters in harm's way, that's a price that's worth paying. Because even if women object, they will not speak of it. We have put fear in everyone else already, so they won't dare to fight against us either. If some work up the courage to say something, we will make sure they are charged with a hate crime for thinking of their own safety over our agenda. You will not be allowed to acknowledge different genders, no matter what biology says. You can try and resist all you want. You can try to point out the dangers or call out criminals already trying to expose the system. You can even put up 20 minute videos talking about all the peeping toms that have already happened in women's bathrooms by people posing as transgenders. Our media friends will not cover any of those stories for truth and facts hurt our cause because we don't actually care about women at all if they're not an LGBT member. Hence, why we've even gotten the rules of sport changed so that biological males can compete in the Olympics as women. And 
And if it provides an unfair advantage to transgenders over women, then so be it. We will piggyback on the civil rights movement for blacks. We will let everyone know that not supporting the LGBT community is just like being a racist, which means if you don't support what we want, you are no better than a KKK Klansman.